I'm Kevin Kylig, and I am manager of the greenhouse and perennials departments. And the reason I know that is because of my name tag. They put that on here so I would remember that. Um, and also they set me up with uh, a cup with supposedly coffee, but I can't stand coffee, so there's no coffee in my cup. So I'm just going to pretend, and this is just going to be some fun today. But anyway, that's what I do here. I'm manager of the greenhouse uh, operations and the perennial operations here at Colonial Gardens. Uh, and this is going into my fourth spring here at Colonial. Why did I choose to work at Colonial? That is a very good question. This, is, this year coming up will be my 41st year in the industry. And uh, it started all the way back when my, all my grandparents and parents were all born and raised on farms. And so like farming is like in my blood. So that's how I got started in the garden center industry because in, a city, in city life, that's about as close as you can get to farming is working in a garden center. And uh, I stuck with that uh, throughout all these years, and I decided to come to Colonial um, when I heard that it was purchased by a new owner, Tori Schwoop, uh, about five or six years ago, and just saw how the new vision and the new direction of the garden center, the agritourism uh, destination type garden center, and just the, it's more than just your regular garden center. There's so much more here to do, and there's a good platform that we are about life, we are about soil, and we are about helping the environment and making this a better place. And that is really what drew me to Colonial, is the platform that we stand on and what we believe and, what, and how we want to try to help not only the customers, but help our environment. Right. So prime time is obviously spring. That's when the weather's getting warm, everybody's been pent up for the winter time, and they're just ready to get out and do something. And then for me, that's our busiest time. I like the time leading up to that. So like right now in the greenhouse, we are cleaning and sanitizing and trying to get everything as pristine as possible. We always want to have a very good uh, presentable shopping environment, uh, but it's the production part where we're going to be planting seeds and we have little baby plants coming in that we're going to make our own arrangements and hanging baskets and planters and all that. That is that is where the farming kind of comes in my blood is from my background is when you're planting these small plants and you get to watch them grow and then to see customers purchase what, what we've grown and take them home and knowing that we are helping the customer beautify their little part of Mother Earth. That's the part that is really rewarding to me and it really hits my heart when I see people having a good time enjoying their visit at Colonial being helped and and being able to create that little that little uh, piece of beauty at their house. Boy, that is a tough one. Um, number one, I would say, is just the desire that you like plants and you enjoy them, whether it be inside plants or whether they be uh, annuals that you want to put in hanging baskets or planters on your deck or porch whether it be perennials that you want to put in a garden, in a, in a perennial garden, along with maybe some shrubs and trees. I think the main thing is just to have that desire, that want to, uh, to, to like plants, to want to learn about plants. I would say that is probably number one, um, just the, the pure desire. But also, too, um, more and more people are getting more uh, attentive to our environment. So knowing what plants do to our environment, how they help our environment with filtering air, um, and also uh, helping erosion in soil and, and all those things, the benefits of plants to our environment, and then also to food plants. So like your vegetables and your herbs and your, your uh, citrus or anything that you can grow your own food, it's always cool to know this, I grew this, it gives you that satisfaction but also to know that I know what I did to this plant to grow my beans or my squash or my tomatoes or my peppers. So food gardening is uh, definitely increasing. And if you have that interest, that is also uh, is good to help you get you started in, in the garden center business. It's just to have that desire about those different, different aspects of plant, plants and how they're helpful to our environment. 